Hello everyone, welcome to K-Pop Queen for your non-daily reactions to all things K-Pop. Okay, right now I'm about to listen to CL's album. We have been waiting for this album for years. I'm glad it's no longer just the singles, okay? I'm glad it's an actual album, so let's go, let's get into it. Album's called Alpha. Um, let me see, how many of these have I listened to? I've listened to a, a lot of them, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I didn't want to, but because she was dropping visuals with them, I was like, okay, let me do the reactions. And then if I don't do the reaction, well, I'm just gonna watch it anyway, you know? So I have, um, I've heard a couple of these ones, not all of them, um, but a couple of them. So I'm, 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 I'm ready to see some of these B-sides. From what I've seen on the TL, people have been saying that they really enjoyed this album. They love this debut album. They think it's very good. Um, and they've been loving a lot of the B-sides and some of the tracks that we haven't heard before. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm hype. Let's do this. Our first track on here is Spicy, which I did watch and listen to. First time I heard it, I was a little... Okay, I was a little bit on it, but let me let me listen to it now through the speaker and really get into it. Excuse me. Do you have that sauce that is spicy? I do, John. I actually do, John Malkovich. Thank you. Made in Korea. <laughs> okay. It's so cool to see that they're still close. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm Slowly layer in the beat. Mm. I do like the beat. I do remember thinking I like this beat, but I think I needed a little something more from the chorus. But let's let's keep listening. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. What was it? I think I saw some people complaining about the chorus. And in this video, she was giving us choreo. Okay? We were getting dance CL. Mm. And you can literally hear the tension rising. Like you could, there's like an alarm or something that they're like. <laughs> okay. Mm. Adding a little bit of a different element. What is that, a xylophone? What is that? <laughs> but when I watched this music video, um, I remember thinking, you know what, I can kind of I can kind of get what people are saying about that chorus, saying that they needed a little something more lyrically, they needed something a little bit more catchy to go along with it. And I kind of get that because her speed and her tone is a lot faster and feels like a lot more like packing punches in these verses. And then she gets to the chorus after we had built up all that tension and she's kind of like a little... So she switched it up. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Switch it up. But it's a little bit more blasé, a little bit more relaxed. And you're kind of like, oh, I had all this tension before. I kind of wanted, I wanted a little bit more of it in the chorus. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but that's kind of the way that I feel. Um, I needed a little bit more in that chorus. But I do really like the beat. I like the stuff that gets later on it. I kind of like that, um, the xylophone that comes in for the third half of the song. I, I, I like the beats and the texture of it, but I just needed a little bit more, I think, chorus wise. Okay. Next track on here is Lover Like Me. Now this video I did not see. Um, I was going to react to it and then the week started. So I, I, I've not actually heard this one, nor have I gotten, um, to see the video for it. So I'll probably watch it afterwards, but let's get a little fresh, fresh take on this. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let me turn it up. Okay. This beat is so interesting to me. And the genre. 
Okay. The witnesses. Okay. Mm, mm. Ooh. We're getting full on vocalist uh, CL right now. And this is, I'm going to assume, fully in English. That's all I've heard so far. Yeah. Listen to that one. Okay. Okay, I lied. We're getting it all. We're getting it all. <laughs> Korean rap, all of it. <laughs> Always a cheese bag. <laughs> Electronic. Electronic. <laughs> That's the only word I could think of. <laughs> um, not hip hop. Um, uh, maybe even a little bit more poppy sounding. Um then that well definitely more poppy sounding than spice obviously but you know more poppy sounding electronics track okay um i thought that this would be i thought it would be a dance track I, well, well i thought it would be much faster paced i don't know why but that's what i was assuming i wasn't expecting this tempo um at, at all honestly i don't know i don't know why but that's that's what i was thinking way that that chorus had everything layered into it you know we had our verses a little bit more simplistic we had that one downbeat that was carrying throughout the entire track then we layered in a bunch of tracks in the chorus and it got way more interesting way more texture way more flavor these are like i don't want to say basic beats but they are like pretty simplistic we're keeping it chill with the beats but we're layering in a lot of them that's that's what our thing has been so far our beats simple but we're laying in a lot of simple beats to get a lot of texture and flavor in our songs okay i'm definitely excited to watch that music video okay next track on here is called chuck <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, wait a minute. Okay. Very. I'm underground in a basement. Um, vibing, making beats, and then this little like la la la. la okay. Spell your name out though. Yeah. Mm. The way she stacked that vocal, she's doing it higher than doing it lower. Oh. Okay. Switch it up. A little bit more vibey. Whoa. 
whoa, 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 whoa. I, we're, we're jumping. We're doing so much. <laughs> we are doing so much. We're only three tracks in. But we have hit so many different beats and vibes. Okay, this one, as I was saying, underground basement. Uh, heavy bass beat. Um um very i don't even want to say aggressive because that's not what i mean i just mean it sounds kind of like pent up it sounds a little angry <laughs> sounds a little bit like you could use this for like a noise track like this would be your your foundation and you add more to make it a noise track if you will um that was interesting that was really interesting she's having these little pockets where she's changing up the vibe um right before our third chorus which i think is so interesting it's been in that spot for a lover like me and for chuck when i was listening to it i was like i was a little put off i'll be honest guys i tell you the truth every single time i tell you my honest opinions i was a little put off but as i kept listening i was like wait i'm singing along i'm humming along to this like am i into it i think i'm intrigued by it next track on here is jai Jai, I think. Let's get started. Mm. Mm. These elements, hold on. Mm, 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 mm. Where's this course gonna take me? I'm very curious. Oh, Zai, Zai. Yeah. Yeah. The way she's breaking and suddenly coming back in. I love whatever that background is. Love this part. Uh -oh. Okay, another little pocket. Okay, Zai. Don't know why I said shy, but um, anyway, Zai. Okay, refreshing, clean rainwater. Yeah. <laughs> that's what i feel when i hear this song i feel like like a light storm a light raining there's um a wind chime blowing gently as the rain slowly falls down very refreshing on the tongue very refreshing on the ears to hear this melody is really simple and clean she kind of kept it one noted you know she wasn't really doing too much vocally and a part of me wishes that when she was doing those whoa whoa oh she kind of played around with it i was like come on give us a little something like a little you know like you know just like a little something to play okay sorry i had to put my fan on it's a little hot in here um okay next track on here is let it i don't think there's a music video for this one or no no no, no there is oh the music video dropped yesterday okay yes okay mm. Mm. A big piano. Yeah. Harmony. It's 
inspirational? Did not see that coming, okay. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. I kind of like that. I like that bit. Yeah, I would never have imagined this. I would have never imagined this. But you don't care what they say, so. <laughs> More sing songy, more sing songy, yeah. Okay. Push a little bit and harmonize. Okay, I, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I really don't know what to expect with her nowadays. I feel like I knew what her sound was. I feel like I knew what she would be giving us. Now, she has given us more upbeat, brighter songs, but I feel like this is her brightest one. I feel like she really has not gotten this bright before. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of what I'm, 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 I'm thinking that very well could have been a piano ballad, but um, she decided to keep it more uh, up tempo with it um, and keep it somewhat inspirational as well, which I just, I would not, I would not see that coming from her. Honestly, I wouldn't. Okay, next track is Tie a Cherry. Um, I did the reaction to this one already. I've seen the music video. I've heard the song. I mean, it's, yeah. This is what I was expecting. This is what I thought the vibe of the whole album would be. And I liked, like, I already am into it. See, it's, it, 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 that was flawless. That was a flawless first two lines. simplistic beat it's not crazy it's not a crazy beat but it is catchy yeah This is what I needed. Listen, when I saw that preview on Instagram, um, because she dropped again a lot of music videos. So when I saw the preview for a Tai Cherry on Instagram, I was like, girl. Like, you know that this is what we was waiting for. You know that this is the track that we were waiting for and that we wanted from you. Thank you for finally dropping it. Love the melody of this. I really love the way in that chorus she runs down. She's like, da -da 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 -da. and then comes right back into it. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with that rundown. I just, I, I just think it's really flavorful. I think it's very nice and it adds to the track. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't, okay? I love this song. Like, I love this song, you know? And I said it's what I wanted, and she gave it to me. So, 
Thank you. Next track on here is Paradise, which I don't think I've heard before. I don't think this is the one. I don't think this is one that had a video. I don't think so. I might be wrong. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. These little like twinkling lights in the in the track. You know I love a heavy bass track. Mm. Mm. Build it up, build it up. Now, this could have been a real cute hip hop choreo. First of all, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Very much. Let's just keep it a thousand. Travis Scott, okay? <laughs> This is the type of music he makes, okay? Very much like Travis Scott. Um, I wonder if she got in contact with um, his producers. I love a really like, beat heavy, bass heavy track. Um, I love things that boom through my speaker. I love things that like, they make you like, oh, you know, when you listen to them, you know what I mean? I like to jump when I'm listening to my music and I can jump when I'm listening to this. Next track on here is called My Way. My mind immediately obviously went to Fetty Wap, but no, that's not what this is at all. <laughs> There's like alarm like fascinating. My mind is spinning. I'm, it's spinning right now. One life, one king, one love, only one king, and one game still undefeated. My way, my way, new got to love the love, the one month to name. Mama say, no, that pull love, I should chew my tune. Mama to G, I'm the dead old mama, try to do that. Now I'm tired of gripping C, I ain't trying to tune it. Not that I don't, none of my dad, I was telling it gone. Taking those extra counts to get into the chorus. Mm. I like this segment. I wish we added more of it to the rest of the track. Hold on. Our little pocket. Layering a little bit more. It's slowly getting louder. Mm. 
Although the beat very familiar, felt like it was missing something. Did you, did you guys feel that? I felt like we were missing a critical extra layer for this track. Now, when we got to the instruments, when we got to that uh, instrumental section, I was like, is this the critical layer I'm missing? Like, did I need this throughout the whole song? Maybe, maybe, but now I'm not so sure. Now I'm kind of like, maybe it was nice to have it just in that one segment. Good. A little different from everything else, you know? But the verses needed a little something. The chorus needed a little something. And when we got into our chorus after building it all that tension and then delayed our beat drop, I don't know. I don't know. Next track on here is called Siren. There's no easy way to say it. Oh. There's no perfect way to play it. Mm-hmm. Just wanna see you face to face. Give me that time and place. And know that I keep trying. But it's never the right time. Okay. Can't you see the red light? My heart's on the front line. Violin. <laughs> the orchestra. Listen closely, you can hear the string really well. Like, this was emotional. I feel like we kind of went on a roller coaster on this one. I feel like we started out, like, really melancholy, really sad, telling the story of, like, a broken love or something, a broken relationship. And then as we kept going, I was like, this is getting a little bit more, like, like, like a little bit more sinister. I feel like we went from being sad to, like, kind of wanting revenge as the song kept going, you know? And I love that bridge. That bridge was so good. And then the instrument in this were so full. That guitar was nice. That full string ensemble was nice. We had some great piano as well. Like you could really hear everything and you could really hear everything like layered in and stacked. It was, it, this was mixed very nicely. Next track on here is Hua, which we have seen the music video for. We have heard it all. That bass, real deep. Mm, mm, mm. This like dancey beat. Well, this is gonna inevitably be a hip hop track. Fascinating. That layered in like horn or something. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
This would go off in a club. I don't know if I said that in my reaction, but I do think it would go off in a club. I do. While we got a long time ago, it was <laughs> it was a while ago. I'm not going to lie to you. Wa has this like this little dance, this little dance beat um, that sort of feels like um like it lights up that like it has that little dance beat running throughout it, right? And then she layers in like these hip hop beats, right? So you think you're gonna get like a dance track, but no, it's actually going into a, a, re a really nice hip hop track with a catchy chorus. Like that's what I mean by like a catchy chorus. Something that people are gonna like sing along to. It's like, um, it like flows well, lyrically very nice. Like that's very catchy. And how perfect is it now um, with like Squid Games and everything that just came out? Our last track on here is Five Star. The one that, you know, stars DPRN had us asking a lot of questions. I'm not going to ask anymore. I don't know. It's none of my business. But, um, okay. <laughs> mm. Ah, I love I, I I really love the instruments in this. I do. And the melody is one of the best ones. Oh yeah. And then the way it just goes into the, to like the next segment. Ooh. I preferred five star to Hua. You can go back and check out everything that I've said. That is the honest to God truth. And the reason why I like five stars is because of the beat. I love the beat. I love the little bit of r and ness about it. I like the melody. I like how she's singing in this as well. I like the lyrics. Again, the chorus, catchy. Everything about it just comes together so well for an inevitably catchy song. The way that it starts off with that little effect on it, you know, sort of like it's swirling the track. Like it's swirling it so like by the time they finally get it right, it just comes in nice and loud, okay? Oh, and the music video is so fucking cute, okay? Like... Everyone was checking her and DPR Ian talking about what the hell is going on. <laughs> Let me talk about this album right now. We got 
got a lot of different genres, a lot of different genres, tempos, vibes, like it was it was everything. So my favorites, Ty Cherry. I love Ty Cherry and Five Star. These are tracks that I already listened to though. For some that I haven't heard, I'm gonna say Jai. I think Jai is really good. I think it's really, really refreshing and catchy for sure. And I like Paradise as well. You know that she put a lot of effort into this and you know that she put her heart and soul into writing all of these songs. So I'm looking at Alpha and I'm like, this is pretty solid. There are a lot of tracks on here that I like. Some of them I would change things about and some of them I was a little surprised about. But I do not hate this album. I think this is a really solid piece of work. I think it's pretty good. What did you guys think about Alpha? What are some of your favorite tracks on here? What were some of the songs you did not like? Okay, you can comment below, you can tweet at me, and I'll be back with another reaction. Bye, guys.